presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. It's making a great weekend. And we're kicking into April. You're going to love it. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to master, reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 119, Nasdaq's up 15, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract down $23.80, trading at 1925 an ounce. We have silver off 36 cents, $24.76 an ounce. Lightsweet crew down 81 cents, $99, 49 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 23 ticks, trading 122.04. The 30-year off 16 ticks at 149.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar's trading up. Let's see, where are you, King Dollar? There you are. King Dollar's up 307, trading at 98.619. The euro is at 110. The yen is at 122.59. And the British pound is at 131 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, this is a pretty clean chart, folks, when you take a look at what we have out here. So what we did out here yesterday, you know, picture it. Well, first off, let, let's take a look at the type of retracement you have. Okay, so when we take the highs to the lows, you're going to see that we did almost a 0.786 retracement. That's, that's a huge bounce. That's a very strong bounce, and that's saying that you will not go break the low on the way next street down, the next leg down. That's only the first leg. That's how that works, okay? Because then you're going to take the fib number off the last high that we had, not the high, the last high that we had inside the SPY, you'd go at the 462. That being said, I would, this is on a daily, so then we had the expansion of volume yesterday. Then we take this, and you're going to put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see on the weekly is that bottom line is that you got over your two highs that were generated out here the week of the uh, 4th of February as well as the 11th. Bottom line, you, let's say, so we got up to 462. Those numbers were 457 and 458. And you're going to close at 451. So you get to a higher high, you close under it, and you have higher, uh, lighter volume. 629 million we were going into, you only did 406. That is the perfect setup, folks, that number one, you know, you're going back to this bottom. And, you know, we'll see uh, how this shakes out, meaning, if I'm correct, on the way down. The NDX 100. Now, the NDX 100 has been the weakest indice anyway, when we take a look at the SPY or the NDX. NDX did the same thing. The Qs yesterday had an expansion of volume. And if we pull this up, let me do this one because I want to see the amount of. Okay, so also with that, okay, the NDX, you know, also was almost at a 0.618. Okay, so that's still strong too. Uh, we put, we take this. We're going to put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is it's going to be the same type of setup. Uh, bottom line is that you got into. Let's see if we got over. What do we get to? We got to 371. 
Yeah, we got over both of them again. You got over both of them, and let's see, 429 million versus 301. Oh yeah, it's not even close, man. So what you have here is this: you got over the swing point, you had light of oil, and rejected low, low, higher price. We're going right back to these lows. I suspect where we're going, and I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago, but right here, that's, you know, you can see that high volume load that's sticking out, 297, and right now we are 350. We go to the SPY, I suspect we're gonna see the same type of setup. Put this on a weekly for a second. Come on, I don't like this chart. I don't know why they do these charts. I just hit the wrong letter when that happens, folks. Uh, so take that. Okay, here we go. So that number, yes, yeah, oh, there it is right there, I see. So the number in the SPY is 371. We'll see how it shakes out. That's, you know, the first, the first leg down could get you into the, low, into the lows of the last low. You go sideways, you build some more cars, you get down to that next level. Gold, we take a look at the gold contract out here, what you're gonna see in the gold contract. Gold contract's trading down $29. Uh, bottom line, you get volume of 124,000. So that's really light volume, that's, that's the bottom line. So you're still consolidating the gold market. Now this is what the mind blower is out here today, there's no doubt. I mentioned it when I just did the updates. You got gold down $25, yet you got Newmont breaking all time highs. Newmont right now is trading up uh, 291. You get juice behind the move. We were talking about Newmont yesterday because what would happen with Newmont, Newmont was coming into its highs with monster volume. And you can see the type of volume it had in the monthly, it was huge. So you're gonna blow away the highs. Newmont's on its way to 98. We go to Royal Gold. You're gonna see the same type of setup in Royal Gold. And what I suspect we're gonna see here, just as I said, um, Royal Gold rising up uh, is up 456. I think the high on Royal Gold is, uh, 165. Let me see this. I don't think it says. Oh, look at this. No, it's breaking it. Yeah, 147. So 147. And you can see, look, just look at this. <laughs> I mean, real goes the same way. You got two monster bars. I was talking to Z yesterday. These don't come in singles, folks, okay? These bars, they love coming in triples, man. This thing's going up and away. And I suspect what's going to happen is that you have it. Change of sector rotation, that's what's going on. Some of the big funds, it, 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 see if the big funds, they would go into those first. And let's go take a look at uh, Barrick, because they would go into Barrick. But what happens with Barrick is that Fidelity's owned so much of Barrick. Yeah, Barrick's up 40 cents, nothing heavy, but the bottom line is that that's what I suspect you see uh, happening out here. We go take a look at the yen, and of course the yen has that correlation with where gold wants to go. The yen's got weaker last night. That's, uh, but that's, yeah, that's, that's building costs to go back downtown. You can, you can see the end got up to this uh, 123, you're at 122.55, and I suspect you're gonna build some more cars to basically get down into lower price, which is stronger yen. Dow, Dow Industrials right now are trading, where is she? Dow's trading up 77, NASDAQ is down 10, S&Ps are up two and a half. Stay right there, folks. Uh, we're coming back with our man, Best for Behuli. We are gonna be talking some uh, cap rates, real estate cap rates. We're gonna walk you through a couple spreadsheets here. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Best of You, Hooley. We are happy to be with you. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 61. Nasdaq is down 21. S and P's are down six and a half. We got a couple. Uh, let's go take a look at Amazon here for a second. Best fit. We have a couple targets that want to look at a few more stocks. And then we're going to get into this uh, uh, spreadsheet for market caps. Oh yeah, yeah, market so, caps. Listen to me. Yeah, yeah, market <laughs> cap, cap rate, market yeah. everything, man. Okay, so. Amazon, right? Uh, what the Tiger's looking for, let's see. Uh, look, is it an ABC on a daily? Amazon. Uh, well, let's take a look at this. Okay, so it's not an ABC. Um, and you can expect this thing will probably pull back somewhere. You had 32.60. See, it's 32.31. That's got some juice. I suspect it's going to try to get into that level. And then with Amazon, you got to remember that when you do take a look at this, and we put this on a weekly, uh, yeah, look at this. All these on a weekly. You see this on a weekly? Hold on one second. This might be a failure. What number is that? 3276. Okay, with 19 million. Yeah, it's a failure. Okay. Yeah, this is so cool you asked this question. <laughs> Mr. G, what's going on here is this. You see how it get over the high? Has light of volume by 4 million shares. This is going back downtown, too. This market's going back downtown. That's the bottom line. In fact, I heard uh, someone was calling Steve's show. And I went over this yesterday um, for, I believe, the same person with uh, NVIDIA about the ABC structure being up. I was saying that it's going to be a failure. And why I was saying that? Because then that was when this thing was eight and a half points higher. The reason being is that all you, you had to go to the Sox and AMD. AMD fell apart first. And, you know, I kind of went through that whole scenario. And you got to pay attention to those scenarios, man. That's the real bottom line is that when you're in a... Market that is shaky anyway, and then you see one equity inside of the sector start going, man. Guess what? That whole equity can go and it can go in a monster way. So now let's get into we are gonna get we're gonna this is gonna be awesome, folks. Okay. So what Beth put together for us is a spreadsheet of so we, we know from being in the business, the real estate business. Yeah. Everyone loves multis. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they all wanna make money. They all wanna make money. Yeah. What we also found out, okay, is that many folks really don't understand how to do the numbers on the multis as to are they going to make money or are they going to lose their shirt. Yeah. And, if, and when I say losing your shirt is this, okay, in the last few years, yeah, there's no doubt about it. You could lose your shirt and the, because of the price of the properties went up, different ball game. Yeah, right? it just keeps going up. You just, can sell it and make money. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So... That is not the normal occurrence, folks. And, and not also, it, it doesn't really matter. You should be 
coming into an and you know a multi knowing what the actual numbers are and what we're going to get into also is this there's a huge difference when we start talking about cap rates when we've had interest rates low right yeah yeah the Where's, interest rates have been low so cap rates have been going lower so once the interest rates go back up right guess what cap rates got to go up cap rates got to go up yeah. now the intriguing thing here with a cap rate folks right a cap rate has well tell us does the cap rate have anything to do with the like your the, mortgage or the cash you're putting in yeah so the cap rate has nothing to do with you know getting a loan right this is just what the property is going to make yep and your expenses and that way you're going to pay for it right so the loan is like after that right yeah so <laughs> so when we go through this spreadsheet folks what you're going to see is this and this is what's really this is what's important for everyone to understand your cap rate can be one number then we're going to show you a cash on cash rate because the bottom line is that you want to know how much you're making on your cash yeah and what is the actual risk that's perceived as you go through the deal yes now Another mistake that we see made, I mean, this is amazing, folks, that, that folks should understand it, but I can understand it. You know, people don't buy a lot of houses. They don't really, you know, and, uh, and many times, well, okay, this is, this is a great question for a broker, right? I'm buying a place, right? Let's just say I'm a virgin buying a place, you know, coming in. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at the taxes. I'm saying, oh, this is ain't bad, okay? What is, what is the mistake I'm making right away? Well, the mistake is you got to know what the taxes are going to be after you buy it. Yeah, right. And uh, most people don't know that. You know, they think that they're going to say about the same where, where the taxes were the, the, the right. previous year. Right. So, and we, we've seen, you know, somebody has lived in the house, you know, 20, 30 years. The taxes are 1500 But when you buy it, five, six hundred thousand dollar house. Right. Taxes are going up to 10 grand. Exactly. And we've seen people getting shocked, folks, okay? Yeah. Well, we haven't seen it. We've heard about it. Okay, yeah. meaning, but but it, anecdotally, heard about it. Like, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. not our clients. Trust me. Okay, um, but it, it is pretty wild when you think about it. Yeah, right? I mean that that could be an extra six, seven hundred dollars a month. It's huge. Payment, you it's know, huge. Just, just hits you the following year. Right. Yeah. Now, when folks are buying, uh, let's talk about this because we, we <laughs> this is a, this is a, this is a great one because we we don't have this building right here right now, folks. But uh, let's talk about. Just, we're going to go through the spreadsheet, but I want to do that the next um, segment. segment. Okay. So let's talk about, let's talk about the the office building, right? We just saw someone buy an office building, folks, right? And best fit happens to know the office building, and we know how much it's going to cost to basically upgrade it or just just get the thing going, right? Yeah. So the office building, well, we can tell them best fit bid two million. You got outbid by 2.2 .2 million, yep. right? And so, t now, now pitch this. How much did you think you were going to have to put into that for your client, or your client's going to put into that, you know, in order to get it going? Uh, well, at, at least five, six hundred thousand, right? Right. You know, just to get it kind of where you want it to be. You can uh, put a lot more into it. Right. Over a million. Right. But and to get to the rents you want, right? Yeah, to get to the rents you want at least five, five, six hundred thousand. Right. So listen to this, folks. This is crazy. And you can, you can. <laughs> this guy, he, he, he. Um, what do you call it when you're? Uh, how Crowd, do you crowdsource him? He, he crowdsourced the money. That's how Bess best got beat out. He crowdsourced the money. But this is the sickest part, folks. Okay, there's a picture in front of him of the building, right? And how much money? Did, so you buy a place to now. All you tigers and tigers, you're going to notice immediately because this is so bizarre, it's freaking insane, okay? This guy put in, how much did he put in for uh, it? He said he was going to put 50000 Oh, to I, renovate. I thought it said even 25000 yeah, 50000 50, for yeah. a two million. I mean, it's, it's insane, folks, okay? Can't even paint it. No, you can't even <laughs> paint it. You can't, you can't even paint it, okay? Yeah. You know, so those, there's a lot of d different things that are important, but it, it's also important that you can see, you know, it's amazing that they can crowdsource that much money, and it's amazing that, they, I mean, they're gonna go down the tubes in about two seconds. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the taxes the previous year were about 21,000. Yeah. But it's gonna go up to closer to 60,000 <laughs> the following year. And then insurance is gonna go up as well because now the billing is more expensive. Right. And so you, you're talking about, you know, 85,000, just, just tax that. insurance. Right, right. You gotta come up with every year. 
So we're we're gonna, we're gonna follow this guy, folks, and maybe we'll we'll bring. We're not gonna bring the guy on. I mean, we might bring the whole links on though, because yeah, when you see, see this, this is like an egomaniac that's in front of the building like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, we see a lot of this out there right now. You do, you know, no, you do. And, and some of them, uh, you know, they, they make it because the market just keeps going up. Sure, and you can sell it and make money, but you know, how, how much longer can this go? Hey, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Best for now, coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Dow. Dow Industrials up 30. Nasdaq's down 40. S&P's up 10. Down 10. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best would be Hewley, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 31, Nasdaq's down 39, S&Ps are off 9.5. Now, we're going to go through the spreadsheet. So, tell me what we're looking at here. So what we have is, uh, you know, we, this is a fourplex, so we'll have four units. Yeah. Um, you know, each unit is a little different. Uh, one of them is a two-bedroom. Okay. Then you have one bedroom, so, you know, depending on the size of the unit. Uh, so, you know, we've all seen these pro formas out there. You know, they, they try to tell you what, what a building is, how much they're making. Yes. Really, you shouldn't really look at that too much because you got to do your due diligence yourself. Right. Because a lot of it is wrong. So 
Uh, in the pro forma when they're trying to sell the building, yeah, of course. because yeah, they're right. trying to make it look a little and bit better. And particularly a lot of them put projected rents. Yeah. 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 Right. So okay. you got to see what the, the rents could actually be. So sometimes they could be, they might think that it's lower and it could be higher. But yes. a lot of times they try to maximize it. Right. So you got to do well, your, You just brought up a great point because what we have seen, folks, okay, now if we go back six months ago when you're getting some people from doing some duplexes, that's what was going on. What folks hadn't understood at that point is that how big, that, now I'm talking right, we have very high rents in St. Petersburg, folks, okay? Yeah. And what was happening is that there were buildings that people just weren't, they just didn't realize how quick the rents went. Yeah. And so you get caught, that, that was a cool. Yeah, okay. yeah. But now, now everyone knows. Everybody knows <laughs> Everyone now, knows yeah. now. So when you catch it right before it's going up, you're doing Different great. ballgame. So, okay. So, so yeah, and um, so, you know, kind of look at the market, see what you think you can get for rent, how strong is the market. So, you know, this is what, what I think you can get for rent for uh, these units right here. Right. So it's about, you know, uh, seventy-two or $76,000 a year. And then we go down to the estimated expenses. Now, this is the big one. Right here. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Can I make that look bigger? Not sure. I guess not. Okay, that's all right. So let's walk through the expenses. What we're going to show you here also, folks, is that the... the well, here, you just keep going, then we, we can figure this out. Yeah, I mean, so the previous owner was paying around $1,500 a month for insurance. Yeah. But that's not the case anymore. As you know, insurance has gone way up right. around here in Florida. So it's about five grand a year. Right. And then the property taxes is a big one. As you can see, last year it was only forty-eight hundred dollars. Okay. This year is going to go up to over twelve thousand. Where are the last year ones up right, here above? Right okay. Up so when you look at this, folks, the last year's numbers are to your right hand side. The numbers that are real are to your left hand side of the spreadsheet when you're looking at it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So now you're up to twelve thousand. That's a, yeah. a big difference there. And then so building repairs. You know, this is also something you got to look at. So it depends what kind of property you're buying. If right. it's uh, newer, you know. Yeah. Or if it has a lot of uh, issues that you're gonna, you know you're going to have to fix. So yes. That's something you'll have to gauge yourself. Landscaping about nine hundred a year. And now, it, it, what happens here, folks, is this. This gets really intriguing. Landscaping, if you think that, you know, we're talking about big, beautiful plants and all that, we're not. Oh, if, yeah. Now, we're in Florida, so what happens, we just started, in fact, it was pouring out this morning, right? Yeah. You wouldn't believe, man, how fast this grass can grow, and if you don't cut it, you get fined immediately. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so you got to so stay on top. That's here. Up north, you know, bottom line, you get all that snow. That's real money. You got to get rid of the snow. That's yeah. expensive, okay? Oh, yeah, that's so you got to have that in there. Okay, next. So this one, uh, the owner actually pays for a water, trash, and sewer. So, you know, it depends on the property. Sometimes all the utilities are split yes. for the tenants, but sometimes the owner has to pay them. So for this one, it's about four grand uh, a year, but yep. it could be a little bit more or it could be a little less. So that's where you have to do your due diligence. Right. And then you got to put at least 5% for vacancies, right? For sure. Yeah. Because you miss one month. One in, month, and, right. yeah, yeah, and you're out. So electric... The tenants pay the electric there, so yeah. you don't have to worry about it. Then management, this is another one where are you going to manage it yourself or are you going to hire a company? Right. And most companies right now are going 7 to 10% right. of your gross rent. Right. And here I only put 5%. You know, okay. Just to kind of you know, see where we are. So as you can see, a total of 32320 uh, or 2693 a month right. of expenses just to maintain this property. Okay. And so your net operating income is 43888 And uh, then if you're going to finance it, you know, this is where, you, you know, you're going to see how much money you're going to make. This is where it really gets cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So this one, they financed 70% uh, of it, as you can see. 30% so down, financed yeah. 70, okay. So they put 200 and almost $10,000. Yeah. And they're only going to cash flow $12,360 a year. Right. So, and that's, that's without one mistake. Yeah. Right. One big mistake, right? You just lost all your profits. Right. So, right. So yeah, that's something uh, you, you'll you'll have to do and see. And so on this one here too, when when you take a look at this, folks, to see the cash on cash. So if you if you go in there with cash, it's what five point nine percent. That's where we're at, right? Uh, the, that, the interest. No, no, I'm looking cash on cash. After oh that. yeah, yeah, okay. that's uh, five point nine. You see, cash on cash. You pay <laughs> cash for it. You're still only five point nine percent. Okay. Um, your cap rate on this is 6.2, right? Is that 6.3? 6.3, yeah. 6.3, okay. Now, <clears throat> what we want to show you here, right, we are in an environment that, you know, bottom line, interest rates are going up, right? Yeah. So let's change that interest rate, and let's just say, I don't know, 
four months from now, it's seven percent, right? Seven percent. Okay. So you see what happened with that cash on cash, folks? It went down to two point three percent. Two point three, yeah. Yeah. And your cash flow is only four eight hundred. Four eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. So. So the the key to understand here is this: is that as interest rates are going up, cap rates should go up. It doesn't, you know, there's been so much demand for real estate, you know, yeah. but that's, that's your fundamental yeah, take because, on how it goes. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Most people can't just pay cash. A lot of them are going to have to finance it. So if, if the cap rate is lower than the interest rate, there's just no way you can make money. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, that's, this is where we are now. What you can do too with, uh, you know, four units or less. Yeah, now watch, here, listen to this. This is cool, folks. This is residential. Yeah. So you can uh, take out an FHA loan on this. Right. As you can see, for a, for a four unit, you can go up to 809000 Right. So if you did a, uh, you know, three and a half percent down on this. Yeah. Um, and you want to live in one of the units. One thing you'll have to uh, figure out too is you're going to have to pay mortgage insurance on this, right? Which is pretty expensive, five hundred and fifty-two dollars yeah. a month. A month. Comes so that's six grand, right? Sixty-six hundred dollars yeah, a year. So right. you put sixty-six here, and these are how the numbers look now. And if you are going to live in one of them, now you got to get rid of one of the, the rents. Yes. So you, you get rid of that. Okay. And now it's costing you. You can see how these numbers change negative, folks. But the difference is that you're going to have a unit that you're going to live in. Well, first off, you're going to see that these FHA loans are huge, man. I mean, that's, that's, that's the other side of this, okay? Whether you're paying PMI or not, okay? It's the bottom line. Six grand is cheap for a PMI. That's cheap, but for an $800,000 loan, I mean, you know, yeah, that's, yeah, not, that's, not, the end, that's so, not the end of the world. So as you can see, you're now negative. Um, we, we gotta get rid of the management fee as well. Yeah. So we'll put that to zero. As you can see, it's gonna cost you about 14,000 a year to live there out of pocket, which, you know, it's not bad considering, you know, you have a fourplex for no, only $24,000. It's not, it's not because, because with, what ends up happening is that that's before you actually do your taxes. Yeah. Because those other three units, on a fourplex, you're not gonna be able to write the whole thing off, but you can write three units depreciation off yeah, okay your well, interest and yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so that that'll turn into a positive yeah yeah, yeah for sure stay right there folks best of diet coming right back our phone number is 877-92 that's right depreciation man the world loves depreciation and real estate that's why there's that's why everyone's in real estate Everybody's man in real estate, yeah. stay right there folks uh dow dow is up one nasdaq's down 47 s&p's off 13 and a half we'll come right back are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of you, Lee, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, up 21. NASDAQ is down 42. S&Ps are off 12. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here uh, in this market today. And today, folks, more than likely, well, you know, we have a weekly uh, option expiration, but more than likely that volume is not going to be too large out here today. We got uh, advanced micro, that's down 252. You got uh, Intel off 175. Micron Tech is off 252. Uh, if we go inside the NDX 100 and take a look of the strength versus the weakness, Baidu's up 6.5%, NetEase is up 6.5%, Pinduoduo is 6.1%. Now you can see those are all Chinese stocks, so the Chinese market is putting some juice into them. You got uh, CSX, they start hitting the railroads out here today, Qual that's down 550, Qualcomm is up 501. Let's go back to CSX for a second, let's just see this. So, and take a look at CSX. This is the rail industry. Whoa, baby, look at this, the rail industry, man, they're taking this apart. That's interesting. So this is this is gonna have to do with the aspect that think they think the announces, uh, I don't know they're selling it. Oh, they're worried about freight a freight recession. I can see that, okay, there's no, there's no doubt about that. Um, there's, there's no doubt about that. So, you know, we get a lot of talk uh, in the den here. This is really intriguing. Um, and we appreciate the, all the thoughts and the, the, you know, the little text that are out here, folks, about depreciation and then a recapture of that depreciation. Uh, and that is something that you absolutely want to wrap your head around. Yeah. You know, because this is this, how this shakes out. It is not a, let's picture that you have a building that's, uh, let's just say it's 100,000. And you depreciate, it's what, 21 years or whatever. You depreciate it down, let's say, for 10 years. And if you were in an income bracket that you're really making a lot of money, that depreciation, you know, of course, is going to go against, your, you know, what you pay for taxes. Yeah. When the recapture happens, the recapture, basically, the depreciation, it's not a zero-sum game. That's what I'm trying to say is that, let's say you depreciate it, it looks like you depreciated 50 or 60 grand, and then, okay, yeah, you got to recapture that, which you will. But because of the way that, that it works mathematically, when you're taking that off your taxes, you're making out like a bandit. Yeah. That's one part. part. Another part, do you want another, another one, folks, that is amazing is this. If you happen to be um, just going onto Social Security and Medicaid, this is, this is a trippy one, this one. Because what happens there is this. Now, this is unusual. It's not unusual, but if you set it up right, it, it can be pretty cool. If you are depreciating and going in, you know, depending on how much you make when you're taking your retirement, meaning you're taking the Social Security, if you wait up to, I waited to 70 or whatever, whatever the longest you can wait, I waited. So what happens there is two different things end up happening there. You, the Medicaid portion of it, you know, you, get a, you have to pay a premium because you're, you're making too much money. So you pay the premium above it. But let's say that you're just 
you know, you're not down a little, you're still making plenty of money. But that depreciation, the year that you're going on to Medicaid, if you can get it against your income, yeah. all of a sudden you're saving another four or 5,000 a year. Wow. I know, to, to start it off, and, and how you start off that whole Medicaid Social Security. And thank God you're not gonna know that for a long time. <laughs> how old are you anyway? 33. 33, yeah. 33 and feeling free. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, it, it's pretty cool, folks, so, you know, Bottom line, uh, we'll get into it a lot more, but um, it's, it's why people get their heads wrapped around that, that whole deal. Let me get back to the spreadsheet here for a second, one second. Okay, so the bottom line is, is that y you wanna understand what, what type of risk you're taking when you're coming in, right? And yeah. you know what we don't have in here too, by the way, right? We don't have the closing cost in here, man, right? Yeah, yeah, that's something else that you yeah. have to you know, right. figure out how much it's gonna cost you. So and if, if you're gonna finance, we know how much that could cost that's you. That's right, that's right. And you, have, you get the closing costs, you get the title. Uh, there's a lot more expenses than you realize. Yeah, Right. well the big thing is you wanna you know, just do your due diligence on the property and see right. what kind of property and what kind of shape it's in because that could cost you a lot of money down the road. Yes. You know, one, one thing that goes wrong, a couple thousand dollars. Right. Yeah, just right. like that. You know, there was a question in here in the den, and this is a great question, okay? This question here was, uh, well, it was a statement, actually. Uh, uh, let's see this. It was about, you know, looking around for a real estate investment, uh, you know, that's paying a high number. Oh, here it is. Hi, Tom. Been researching the past few months. Investing in real estate uh, syndication, a real estate crowd, and funding for investing with higher yields to park some money. So, there's a million deals out there, folks, okay? You hear my mortgage deal out there. Bottom line, the way the mortgage deal works, it's a forced first mortgage. You're the only one on the mortgage, okay? That, to me, that's, that's a clean deal, okay? You're not, you don't have partnerships and all that. When we were running the fund, okay, that is a registered fund and you know, two separate places. Everyone knows exactly how much they owe, owe over the fund. You have two different auditors, okay, that's it. What you have to absolutely watch out for is this, okay? Like that question right there. The syndic or syndication, if it's a syndication, you wanna make sure that flat out inside the operating agreement, you understand that operating agreement upside down. Yeah. The operating agreement is the most crucial part of any type of syndication. The crowdsourcing one, the crowdfunding one, you just, you would just, I, they're all different ones and it's gonna be the same type of setup, meaning that they're, I, I, you know, at the bottom line, is I'm not really familiar with it, but there, there should be an operating agreement. If there's not an operating agreement, don't send anyone your money. <laughs> <laughs> because what's happening there is this. this. This is what the difference is. Instead of like, you know, when I'm pushing something out, I'm saying, myself, here's the property, you have the first mortgage, that's it. I don't pay, you have the property. That's how it works. Not lock, stock, and barrel. And a situation that if you crowdsource and there's a thousand people that own that property, oh, guess what, man? Yeah, who's getting their money back? If it's not only who's getting their money back, it's... It, it, that's it also, but what it also is, is that it's like 100 people have 5,000, 1,000 people have $5,000, right? Yeah. The sponsor of that, you know, they can almost do anything they want. Yeah. Because the reality is it's gonna cost you more than $5,000 to basically do, to go after the sponsor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and realistically, what, what I suspect is gonna be inside of that also is a, a huge amount of uh, terms that you have clicked off and said yes. Because yeah. the crowdfunding sites, you know, they've been around for a long time. I mean, so, yeah. you know, they, the SEC is not gonna basically let that, you know, go south, meaning they try to keep as much as you can on top of it, so. Yeah, and who's, and, who's and, doing the deal, right? And the last part is the most important part, which says higher yields to park money. The higher the yield, the more the risk. Yeah. I'm convinced that there's an, ad, there's an ad on Bloomberg, and I get a feeling that this thing is a Ponzi scheme. I cannot figure out how a real estate company can pay 12% per year claiming that it can do it. There's not enough money in it, folks, to pay 12% for your money. It, yeah, that's, there's not, that's, that's there's, crazy. There's yeah. not. Well, we we'll see what's out there. I, I, <laughs> I, trust me, I know, you know. And the last thing, I'm gonna leave it, we're coming right back, is that 
there's more expenses and less money than most everyone thinks. Yeah. That's that's what you really better get your head wrapped around. Stay right there, folks. Best and I are coming right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, thank folks. Uh, best of be Hilly, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 136. NASDAQ is up 19. S&P's up five and a half. And I want to give a big growl to Leon. And he is in Switzerland right now. It's a beautiful thing. That's where he lives. He's a uh, young nephew. My nephew, yeah. And he's got his Tiger shirt on, folks. If we can get this up, he's watching Best Fit Me right now. He's got his Tiger shirt on, growling and prowling. You've got to love it, yeah, man. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. Folks, okay, so we're coming in into the weekend. I, You know, it's going to be a great weekend, no doubt. Uh, as you're coming into the weekend, come over to our website at TFNN. So... Um, we have launched a new Tiger's Den. It's an amazing Tiger's Den. Uh, my son Tommy, Jacob, has done an amazing amount of work. Jacob just worked day and night to get this thing up and going. Um, we have a great community. You got the Tigers and Tigers is growling and prowling out here. Um, it's a state-of-the-art deal. The cool thing is, folks, is that you can have it on your computer. You can have it on your phone. You can have it everywhere, and it's just so cool. And Guess what, folks? It's a buck a year. That's the bottom line. The only reason we're charging a buck is that then we're not going to get any scams in there or, you know, we can follow the whole deal. So come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see it right on the top, uh, featured content, Tiger's Trading Room. 
Tiger's Den Trading Room, hit it, a buck a year, you're gonna be happy you did, okay? We have a lot of great traders, tigresses, tigresses, a huge amount of ideas. Uh, join our community, man. It's, it's a beautiful thing and we're having a blast. And so I wanna thank everyone out there, number one, and um, you know, hope everyone has a great weekend, a safe weekend, and uh, we're gonna go crank it out. Yeah. We're gonna get your nephew over here and have him start selling some real estate. Yeah. We get, <laughs> bring, him down, bring him down to Florida. We'll yeah. Bring him down to Florida. Yeah, just, just get him going. I like it. Yeah. And always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Go <laughs> get him, folks. All right. This is good. Building